Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mercedes. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on what I do for a living or what I have been doing for the last When I first started years. on YouTube and I started budgeting and I kept telling you guys that I was working part time, well, I actually worked as a sales insurance agent. So I sell insurance auto as well as property insurance so for the last three years i have worked as a a licensed sales representative and what that just means my title is an insurance agent so i sell property as well as car insurance pretty simple so i do work off of a base pay as well as a commissions check so i get paid for the insurance that i sell and i've been doing that for the last three years part time so i know that the question has come up a lot i feel like i've addressed it but i haven't just made a video in regards to being a licensed representative so I thought that this is what I would make this video about today so we can just kill two birds in one so, stone. So as far as an insurance agent my role is to provide insurance quotes for auto as well as homeowners, condos, renters, yeah just just insurance everyday needs of insurance a lot of people need insurance in order to drive and operate a vehicle I am licensed in about 20 different states so I sell in multiple states I probably talked to you guys over the phone before you just never know that is what I have been doing for the last three years you guys know that I was going to school to get a degree my degree is in criminal justice I just landed a job utilizing my degree however I, I did not want to make this a video in regards to my degree I just wanted to keep it real simple so that it is relatable to a lot of you guys I do go into an office and this is what I still let's do get into being an insurance agent so in order to be a insurance agent you do have to pass a state test where you obtain a license so it is something that you carry and you have to pay for if you don't work for a company but it's something good to have there's always going to be an insurance job there's always a need for insurance and as long as there's a need for insurance there's going to be an insurance job now if i do decide to leave my current company i will have to surrender most of my license in the other states that i'm licensed in outside of my home base state that would be the only license that i maintain and keep and then eventually if i decide to keep it up myself pay for my continuing education and to recertify my license then i will continue to do that but if not then i will eventually let my home base license go as well so being a licensed representative it's just like going to take any other state test whether you do real estate those type of testing i heard that the test is really hard for me it wasn't but i'm not someone who has an issue with taking tests i know some people may get anxiety when it comes to test taking or they just get nervous they just do not do well with taking tests i passed my test on the first try so it wasn't really hard so i cannot tell you guys I can't speak on the test in my terms but you know a lot of people said that the test the test was hard so it is a test where you have to study for we were in training for about six weeks six to eight weeks when I first started mind you this was three years ago so don't, so don't quote me on everything but we were in training a while to study for the test and then once we past the test we continued on into training actually starting our role as insurance agents now i believe you have two chances to take the test if you fail the first time you have another chance if you go in independently and do it on your own you're not working for a company they're not supplying the you know testing material or not paying for you to take the test i believe it may be three tries but i know the company that i got hired with you had to pass it on the second try basically insurance it's it's a tough job because a lot of people don't understand insurance a lot of people call in and they're like i want liability insurance or i want full coverage but in reality there's no such thing as full coverage when it comes to insurance you can never be fully covered 
when it comes to insurance and I didn't know that before becoming an insurance agent a lot of people don't know that so I try to educate most customers but they don't want to hear it they just want a cheap price a cheap rate and they want full coverage or they want liability and I think it's so important to learn things that you are required to have so you're required to have this insurance for a reason what do you think that reason is study it learn it it doesn't hurt to know what you're being covered at or how you'll be affected if something did happen most people think oh i got insurance oh hit me. you know when you're oh you hit me I, I hope you got insurance you want them to be covered just as much as you want yourself to be covered because you don't want anyone garnishing your wages or coming after anything you own because you caused an accident and you have no way to pay for these medical expenses that may have occurred due to the accident or even pay for their property damage that you caused. So their vehicle or if you hit someone's fence or if you were rolled into someone's house, you know, you have to pay for those things. That's so pretty much the role of an insurance agent. We're just here to educate, not only just sell insurance, we're here to educate others on insurance because they didn't have to go and take a test and study and learn all these different laws when it comes to insurance. So they don't know. So it's up to us to educate the public on insurance. So that's what I try to do on every call. Does it work on every call? No, most people are just focused on the premiums, which I understand. Most people think insurance is a scam. Most people think it's not necessary. Most people just don't want to hear it. But in reality, it's in place for a reason. If you go out and you break your car tomorrow, who are you expecting to pay for it? Your insurance company, right? If you go out and you run into someone's house tomorrow, who are you expecting to pay for it? Your insurance company, right? So I don't like when people say, Oh, insurance is a scam. Well, if someone hits my car, I want them to be able to cover it, whether it come in, comes out of their pocket or it comes from their insurance company. I want someone to cover it. And most of the time, a lot of people are not just going to have $20,000 to replace your car. Most people are not going to have $20,000 to pay for your medical bills. So that is where insurance comes into play. And that is my role is to educate and sell insurance to the public so that's what I've been doing for the last three years and it's been tough sometimes I enjoy it most times I do not just because you get a wide variety of customers you get those who understand insurance and want to understand it and you get those who think everything is your fault you made the laws for them to have insurance and you're making them carry it and you're the one raising their prices when you have no control over it <laughs> and then you just get those who are just carefree don't really care just know they need it so they're gonna do it and they don't really care so yeah that is what I have been doing for the last three years as a licensed insurance agent, you don't really have a steady pay rate. Some months are good, some months are not so good. And that is just the business that you're in. Some months you're going to do really well. In other months, you're just not going to do so well. And that is the only thing about selling something being compensated but based off of commission is that there are good days and there's bad days. Now, I don't work solely off of commission. I do have a base rate pay because like I said, we do more than just sell. We are here to educate those on insurance and the requirements that they're required to carry in their certain states. And we have to know all of these different laws for all of these different states. And let me tell you, every state is different. We have to know all of these different requirements for all of these different states. So we don't just work off a of commission. We do work off of a base um, salary as well. So yeah, that's what I do. Um, I sell insurance. And so that's my job. And it can be stressful. But at the end of the day, it's an okay job. You will always have a place to go with it license a lot of people demand people with license and especially when it comes to insurance 
once you put that license on your resume, you'll get a lot of calls from different insurance agents requesting for an interview, reaching out to you because they have to pay for individuals to be licensed if they want them to work in their company. And if you're already licensed, that's one less bill they have to worry about. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any detailed questions in regards to being a insurance agent, please comment them down below and I can make a part two to this video. But I wanted to make this video, put it out on my channel so that you guys are aware of what I do or what I've been doing for the last three years. And I hope I answered some of you guys' questions that you may have had that I have individually answered in multiple comments, but I thought that it would be good to just come on here and make a full video in regards to being a licensed agent. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below so that we can get that algorithm up and you guys are notifying YouTube that you want to see videos from me. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.